Hello and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be factoring quadratic equations and this kind of quadratic equations, okay? Um, I have done the one of uh, where it is x squared plus bx plus c. That's when the coefficient of x squared was 1. Okay, now when you have your coefficient of x squared greater than 1, just like you, we have here, how do you factor? How do you solve? It's a totally different method from this one that the coefficient is 1. Okay, and it's quite deeper and... Uh, and I always tell you know I always tell students you find you always get a question on this on your GED and in um, uh, and most students have actually confessed to this having a question like this in their GED it might look like this factor or solve this okay and after this video I'm going to be doing the quadratic formula okay because you have some questions that will just say factor this then some will say solve this and when you see the Option, the answer options, you see that it is in the quadratic formula, formula uh, frame, okay? So after this, I would also treat the quadratic formula, all right? So uh, we're going to go through this. We're going to go through these 10 questions, and I promise you, as we finish, even before we finish, you will be able to solve any of this on your own, okay? And um I think I have done a video on how to use the calculator to answer this. That is in the case where uh, your options are maybe like it says solve, okay, and your options are like a single, you know, a single value or two, you know, a, a value, a digit number and all that. Okay, so you could also check that video out. I would be curating this, all these videos in a course so you can try to get the course and register for the course it's everything is on the website all right and you know after the video there'll be more practice you know worksheets for you to also try on your own okay i'm still curating that i'm not yet done but you can just register so you're notified when i am done um you know curating and you know gathering all resources for you to enable you pass your ged test okay please let's let's get on to this video oh please also don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up Check our website, dtwgedprep.com for summary notes, study guides, free, all free on the website. Just check that. You can join our Facebook group, over 22,000 members. Um, you know, if you need motivation, resource, you want to ask about the GED in whichever state you are in the U.S., Arizona, Florida, California, you can ask New York, you can ask um, in any country, you can also ask in the group. And there is support for you there okay all links are in the video description box of this video now let's go to number one it says 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 we should factor so we're not solving all right so factor means we're going to have like two values in two parentheses that's that's what factor means then when we are solving in the option you're going to see like numbers anyway you're going to see you see what we do on here. So how do you solve this? The first thing you do is you do two times three. You know, the pre when it, please before you watch this video, make sure you watch the video uh, prerequisite to this. Okay, you know, when I was teaching this, let's say for instance you have x squared plus three x plus four. I make four this constant here. Okay, as the value, this positive 4, as the value we find our factors. Why it is 4? It's because 1, this x squared has a coefficient of 1. 1 times 4 is still 4. Are you with me? So that's how we got this, this particular value so we could get the factors. Now here, the coefficient here is no longer 1, it is 2. So we do 2 times 3, it gives us, don't forget the sign, positive. It gives us positive 6. Now, what are the factors of positive 6? We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay? So we now have to now find two numbers. All right? Two numbers that when we add or subtract would give us negative 5. What would that two numbers be? We can, uh, we can use negative 2, negative 3. Okay? This would give us negative 5. To give us this negative 5 okay and if we multiply negative 2 times negative 3 it will give us positive 6 
just like this here. Okay, so these are the two rules that we have to use, okay, to confirm that our factor, that our two factors that we're using is correct. Once it obeys these two rules, then we can go further. All right? So negative 2, negative 3 gives us this negative 5. And negative 2 times negative 3 gives us positive 6. Okay? So how do we now put the factors in? Which is quite totally different from this first one. So we replace this. So we put down first 2x squared. All right? I always... Um, tells advice students use the higher number. So this is negative three. So you do a negative three x, then a negative two x. Okay, these are the two factors. So you re it's like you're replacing this negative five x with negative three x, negative two x. Because when you do negative three x, negative two x, it gives you negative five x. Are you with me? So it's like this becomes this this two. That's what happened. All right, then you drop down your plus three, positive three. Then from here, you now have to factor. That's why greatest uh, common factor, GCF, which we, we've done before this video. Please do watch that video. Okay, if you don't understand GCF, this is where GCF comes to play. We have to find the factors. We have to factor this two and factor this two. Factor this two to our left, factor this two to our right. So let's factor this two. All right, so what is common here for, for the numbers? There's nothing common. There's no factor common with two and three. So we leave that out. Then the, the variables x squared and x, there is something common. x is common. Okay, so you can bring out an x. All right, and when you divide this by uh, x, what are we going to have? Um, two will still be left alone. Okay, and x x would cancel one x here we'll be left with just one x so we have two x this x times two gives us two x then minus this divided by x this x would cancel this x we're left with was three and you see that we have factored out this so this is x let me write it properly here so this is x in parentheses two x minus three close the parentheses now how do we factor this two now we have a negative here all right in quadratic equations, if two numbers, okay, do not have, like for the first one, for here, two and three, a factor is one, okay? You have one, sorry, I, I, I apologize. Two and three has one as a common factor. So you have two and three. The factor of, of, of two is one and two. The factor of three is one and three. So this one is the greatest common factor. So even if we bring out this one, you know, because I already know it, so I just jumped the gun and all that. Okay. So if you, even if you bring out this one, all right, one times X is still X. That's why X stays alone. It doesn't matter. You, you, don't, you don't need to bring out one again because one times X is X. But here, two and three, have, they, they have a factor, which is one. So you have to bring it out. Are you with me? So, and always in quadratic equation, that factor will take this sign here. So it's going to be a negative one. All right. So the factor of two, okay, and three is a negative one. So if I divide this negative, that's negative two and three is a negative one. If I divide this by negative one, okay, negative two divided, negative two X divided by negative one, I will get a positive two. 2x and positive 3 divided by a negative 1, I will get a negative 3. Are you with me? Positive 3 divided by a negative 1 is a negative 3. Remember our sign rules. Very important. Understanding your sign numbers. That's your positive and negative sign rules. Okay? So very important. When you are dividing the positive and negative number, your answer will take a negative. So that's why this is negative. So let me just write this down here again. 2x minus 3. Close the parentheses. Okay? So now you can see here now, we now have a common factor between x and 1. Right? So we... We bring out this common factor, which is 2x minus 3. So 
our first uh, factor will be 2x minus 3. Then what is left here will be what? x minus 1. Sorry. Are you with me? Will be what? x minus 1. So we have factored this. Can you see that? Don't worry. Another example coming your way right now. Okay. So we have factored number 1. Okay, so now number two says 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So what's the first thing? We do 4 times positive 9. So what's 4 times the positive, positive 9? That gives us a positive 36, right? So let's look for the factors of positive 36. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6... Uh, 9, 12, uh, 18, and 36. Okay? So, what two numbers here can we add or subtract that will give us a positive 12? We have to critically look at it. What two numbers can we add or subtract that will give us a positive 12? Okay? And also, when we multiply them, it should give us 36. If we do 9 and 3, you know, positive 3, positive 9 will give us a positive 12. But if we multiply 3 and 9, it will give us 27. So, wrong. Which other number can we use that would give us a 12? Is there any other number we can use that will give us a 12? Uh, if we subtract this and this to give us 6, we need to get a 12. Uh, I can't see any other two numbers. But you know, as I mentioned in the first video when I was explaining this, a number, you can use a number twice. It is not a must that is two different numbers. Here we can use six twice. Okay? If we do positive six, positive six, it will give us what? A positive 12. As far as it follows the rule. And if we do positive six times a positive six, it's going to give us a positive 36. You can see that. So this confirmed confirms, follows our rule. So we are right to use the factors positive 6, positive 6. So now let's replace this in here. So we now have 4x squared, positive 6x, positive 6x. So we replace positive 6x, positive 6x with positive 12x, okay? Then positive 9, okay? That's plus 9. So we now have to factor this two. Looking at the numbers, the greatest common factor of 4 and 6, a 2. All right, we can bring out a 2, which let me let me put this down so we can easily, you know, divide. So, so we can bring out a 2, all right? What are for the variables x square x? We can bring out an x, okay? So when we divide this by 2x, what are we going to have? 2, it cancel this 2. We're going to be left with 2. Then x will cancel 1x out. That will be 2 times x, which would be 2x, okay? Plus, we we'll divide this by 2x. All right, you know, we're factoring this two. Looking for the greatest common factor between these two. 2 will cancel out here. We have 3, and x will cancel as 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. We close the parentheses. Now here, our, our, our factor that we're going to have will be positive because of the sign here. Now, what is the factor, greatest common factor of 6 and 9? It's a 3. 3, and we're going to be left with what? 2x, that's when we divide by 3, divide by 3. 2x then, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, you can see that always, when you factor, you always have to check that this, your two values should be equal. It should be the same thing. So you can easily factor it out. So that's one way to also check. Another way to check is, when you have your final answer, multiply it, you should get this value. Are you with me? When you multiply it, you should get your question. Okay, so from here, we factor out. So we have 2x plus 3. Then we take this 2 in, in, in a parenthesis, 2x plus 3. You can see that. So this is our answer. Question 3 says, factor... 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. 
okay? So what do we do first? We do 3 times 4, and that would give us what? 12, okay? 3 times 4, positive 4. That would give us a positive 12, all right? We look for the factors of 12, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, okay? So we have to look for two numbers that when we add or subtract should give us negative 8, okay? How do we get those two numbers? We can do a 2 and 6. That's a negative 2, negative 6 gives us a negative 8. Then if we multiply, you know, there are two two rules we have to use to test if our factors are correct, okay? When we multiply, we're going to get a positive 12. So yes, these two factors are, cor are correct, negative 2, negative 6. So we put it back here. We have 3x squared. Use the, the bigger number minus 6x minus 2x plus 4, okay? So we re we've replaced minus 8x with this. Now we have to factor. So we factor like this. So uh, 3 and 6, is that greatest common? What's the greatest common factor? It's a 3. Okay, x squared and x, the greatest common factor is an x. So we divide by 3x, divide by 3x. This would cancel. 1x would cancel out 1x here. We're left with x. So we open the parentheses, put the x minus. 3 in 6 would go 2 times, x would cancel, x give us 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. We close the parenthesis. The factor of um, negative 2, positive 4 will be a negative 2. Okay, we can have negative 2 out. All right, and we divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2, this would cancel, so it would be a positive. Okay, that's a positive 1. Then 1 times x is an x. Then a positive 4 divided by a negative 2, what would that give us? That would give us a negative 2. So you can see we have this the same. We bring this out as x minus 2. Then finally, we bring this together as what? 3x minus 2. So we have factored this out. Now, let's go to number 4. Number 4 says 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. Okay? So... Uh, we multiply, that would give us a negative 24, all right, 6 times, uh, that's 6 times negative uh, 4, gives us a negative 24. What are the factors of 24? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, uh, 12, and uh, 24, okay? So, here, so these are the factors of 24, so we have to find two numbers from here. That we add or subtract that would give us a positive five okay so which and also when we multiply we should have a negative 24 okay oh you can see we didn't complete our factors six eight is also a factor are you, are you with me eight is also a factor of 24 all right because you know 24 divided by eight is three okay so uh, what will give us a 5? You know why I actually look for that? Because it will be difficult to get um, a positive 5 and also multiply that will give us... If we do 3, uh, there's no two numbers here that will give us a 5, except for 3 and 8. Okay, 2 and 6 will give us a 4. 4 and 1 will give us a 5, but when we multiply, it won't give us 24. Okay, so that's the wrong uh, factors to use. So let's do three and eight. Let's do a positive, to get a positive five, we would use, we do a negative three, positive eight. Okay, and that would give us a positive five. And when we multiply negative three times a positive eight, that would give us a negative 24. So this is the right two factors to use. So we put this here. Let's start with the bigger factor. That's a positive eight X, a negative three X minus 4. All right, so we factor this two. What is common to 6 and 8? We start with the numbers. That a 2 is common, so bring out a 2. Also look at the variables, x and x square x. A x is common, so let's divide this by 2x. Let's divide this by 2x. We're going to be left here, uh, 2 and 6, that's 3. And x will cancel 1x here, so we're left with x. That's 3 times x will give us uh, 3x plus 2 here in 8 will go 4 times. This x will cancel out as 1. <clears throat> and 4 times 1, that is 4. Okay? 
Now, look at this now. So this is a negative, negative. So it means our factor will be a negative. And what is the greatest common factor of three and four? That's a one, okay? Three and four is a one. Look at it, three, we have one and three. The factors of three is one and three. The factors of four is one, two, and four. And these are the common factor and it's the greatest. This is the only common factor and it's the greatest. So a one, so it will be a negative one. It always take this sign. So a negative one. Okay, we'll put the parentheses. Let's divide all this by negative one. When negative three x divided by negative one, this negative will cancel out this negative to have a positive. So that'll be a positive three x. So we have three x. We don't need to put the positive because you know in maths, you don't when a positive when the number says like it's like this, it means it's positive. We divide this negative four by negative one, and that will give us a positive four. Can you see that? All right, because the negative cancels out to be a positive. All right, and in division and science, when you divide two negative numbers, it gives us a positive. Okay, so that's positive. So we have this two, then we factor out. So we have 3x plus 4. Then finally, we put this together as 2x minus 1. That's our final answer for this. Okay, so let's go to number 5. I have to clear the screen now. All right, so number five is, says 9x squared. Let me divide this into three so we have we can you know solve three questions. So we have 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. So we multiply. 9 times 1 will give us 9, right? Positive 9, because this is positive. What are the factors of 9? We have 1, 3, and 9. Okay, those are the factors of 9. Then, uh, what two numbers will give us a negative 6? What two numbers can we use that will give us a negative 6? And also, when we multiply, it should give us a positive 9. What, do, what two numbers do you think we can use? If we use 9 and 3, we say negative 9, positive 3. Okay, it will give you a, a negative 6. But when you multiply, it will give you 27. So it is wrong. All right, do you see that? Negative 3. Uh, I mean, negative 9, positive 3 will give you a negative 6. But when you multiply negative 9 times positive 3, it will give you a negative 27. It's wrong. You see that? So we can't use 9 and 3. So here we can use 3 twice. Remember, as I said, you can use a number twice as long as it fulfills our rule. It conforms to our rule. It obeys our rule. Okay? So we do 3, negative 3 negative 3, it gives us negative 6. And when we do a negative 3 times a negative 3, it gives us a positive 9. So we are correct to go ahead with negative 3, negative 3. So let's replace that into this equation. So we have 9x squared, negative 3x, negative 3x plus 1. Do you see that? Okay. So now we factor. This, this, what is the greatest common factor of 9 and 3? We we'll start with the numbers. Remember, your GCF is 3. So we'll bring out 3. What about x squared and x? We'll bring out an x. So let's divide this. Divide this. Now we'll divide 9, uh, 3 into 9. We'll go 3 times. x will cancel out 1. x will left with x. So that will be 3 times x. That's 3x minus uh, 3 would cancel out 3 as 1. x will cancel as 1. So we just have 1. Okay, all right, so we drop our negative one. Now, our factor for these two will be negative and the greatest common factor of three and one, uh, uh, three X and one is a one, all right? So in parentheses, so we divide these two things by one, negative one. So negative three X divided by negative one gives us a positive three X. And a positive 1 divided by a negative 1 will give us a negative 1. All right? So this and this is common. So we do 3x minus 1. And this guy and this guy comes together. And we have 3x minus 1. So this is our answer. When you, you know, multiply this 2 uh, binomial, it will give you this. Okay? That's to check if your answer is correct now let's go to number six number six says factor 7x squared minus 18x minus 9 
All right, are you with me? Okay, so we do seven times nine. That will give us what, 63, negative 63. So what are the factors of negative 63? So that's one, uh, three, uh, seven, nine, uh, uh, 21, right? Yes, 21. Factors of 63, yes, yes, 21 and 63. Okay, you notice know, odd numbers is quite difficult to get their factors, but I think this is all about it, about the factors of 63. Okay, so now we have to look for two numbers here. Okay, that would use, that would give us negative 18. Two numbers. If we do 7 and 9, that would, it would be 16. I think the best two number here is 18 and 21 and 3. And when we multiply, we should still get 63. So how do we use it? How do we get uh, a negative 18? We do a negative 21, positive 3. That will give you a negative 18. All right? So you see why sign, understanding the sign rules is very, very, very important. Okay? So and when we multiply this, negative 21 times 3, positive 3 gives you a negative 63. That's it gives you this. Okay? So our rule is right. So we go forward, okay, by replacing negative 18x with, with this. Okay? We replace it with negative 21x positive 3x and we drop our negative 9. All right, so we do the common factor, greatest common factor. We factor this two. Uh, we can bring out a 7 and we can bring out an x. When we divide this, okay, 7 will cancel out 7 and x will cancel out 1x here. So we have x left. So x, we drop it, x negative. Divide this by 7x. 7 in 21 is 3. So 3, x will cancel x, you know, and 3 times times 1 is still 3. So we close the parentheses. What can we factor here? We Definitely the sign of whichever number we're factoring will be positive. So we can factor out a 3. 3 is common to this. So we bring out a 3. What are we left with? So we're dividing by positive 3, dividing by positive 3. This will cancel out. That's as 1. 1 times x is x. And negative 9, you know, this, this is 3. Negative 9 divided by positive 3 will give you a negative 3. So we have this common, so we bring it out and we put this 2 in a parenthesis. So 7x plus 3. Okay, so we have factored this out. So this is how to factor. Now when it says solve, solve is just the next step, equating to 0, and which we have done in, the, in uh, you know, uh, when the coefficient of x squared was 1. But we are going to do this now and you see that solve is just one step after this that's when it says solve now let's go to number seven number seven says three x squared minus eight x equal to negative five we take this here because we have to make the equation look this way and equate it to zero so we take this here it gives us three x squared minus eight x taking a negative 5 here, it becomes a positive 5, equal to 0. Okay, from here, we still apply the same method. 3 times positive 5 gives us positive 15. What are the factors of 15? It's 1, uh, 3, 5, uh, and 15. Okay, so what two numbers here can we use to get negative 8? Definitely 3 and 5. So I'll do negative 3, negative 5. It gives me negative 8. And negative 3 times negative 5 gives me what? A positive 15. So it follows our rule. So we replace negative 8 now with, uh, I will start with the bigger number. Okay, so it becomes 3x squared, negative 5x, negative 3x plus 5 equal to zero. Don't forget that. Okay. So here we factor what's common. We can bring out the one, which we don't really need to put it. Put Okay. One is a factor and X is also a factor. Okay. So let's divide. So we divide by one X divide by one X. Okay. And this T gives us three divided by one is a three X will cancel out one X here. That's left with X. And, you know, times 
3 gives us 3x minus 5 divided by 1 is still 5. You know, this cancels as 1, and 1 times 5 is still this 5. Okay? So here, our factor will be a negative, okay, because this is a negative. And what's the common factor of 3x and positive uh, 5 is a 1. So negative 1. So we divide by negative 1. Uh, okay, the negative cancels negative. This gives us a positive 3x. Divide this by negative 1. A positive 5 divided by negative 1 will give us a negative 5 equal to 0. Okay? So we put this. This is common. So we bring it out. We have 3x minus 5. And, you know, 1 times x is still x. So just leave it as x minus 1. Okay? Equal to 0. So we equate 3x minus 5 equal to 0 x minus 1 equal to 0 okay you see where this the solving bit comes okay so we take negative here we have 3x equal to taking a negative 5 here becomes a positive then to get your x we divide both sides by 3 so our first x is 5 over 3 okay and here x will go to the other side x will give up become a positive 1 so our answer is x is what uh 1 and 5 over 3. Okay, so that's how we solve. All right, so let's try to do the final three together. Please stay with me. I know this video is a bit lengthy, but you know, it's for you. So you get it. You get it, know how. These 10 examples going through this video with me, well, you know, with a cup of tea or coffee you know <laughs> caffeinated coffee whichever one you you want to take hot chocolate you are going to get this and get your ged finally your gd mats out of the way so number eight it says 5x square minus 8x equal to 4. so let's take this here it becomes 5x square minus 8x taking a positive here it becomes what a negative 4 equal to 0. So the next thing we do, we do 5 times negative 4 gives us negative 20, okay? And what are the factors of 20? We have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So what two numbers here can we add or subtract that will give us a negative 8? A 2 and a 10. So how do we combine them? Since it's a negative 8, so it makes a negative 10, Positive 2 should give you a negative 8. And when you multiply this times positive 2, it, it should also give you negative 20, okay, which it did. So our two factors, we have confirmed them. So we replace them here. So it becomes 5x squared and negative 10x. We replace minus negative 8x with these two factors. So a negative 10x plus 2x. Then drop your constant, which is negative 4, equal to 0. Okay, so here we have to factor out. All right, we can factor out a 5. Between 5 and 10, we'll factor out a 5. We can factor out an x. So let's divide this by 5x. What are we going to be left with? We are going to just be left with x minus. Divide this also by 5x. And it will give us uh, 2. Yes, 2. 5 here in 10, 2, and x will cancel out as 1, so 2. Now, how do we factor out this, guys? Okay, we can, so our sign will be positive. We can factor out a 2, so we'll bring out a 2. Okay, open the parentheses, divide this by positive 2, divide this by positive 2. 2 would cancel out 2, that's 1, and 1 times x is x minus, okay, ah, uh, Minus, because minus 4 divided by positive 2 will give you a 2, okay, equal to 0. I'm getting tired already. This video is lengthy. Okay, so we factor out this and we put also factor out this in another parenthesis, equal to 0. So we equate this, negative 2 equal to 0, equate this, plus 2 equal to 0. So we solve. To get x here, we take negative 2 to the other side, becomes positive 2. To get x, take negative uh, 2 to this side, it becomes negative 2, and to get x, we divide by 5. So we have 
x equal to negative 2 over 5. So our final answer is x equal to 2 and negative 2 over 5. Okay, let's go to number 9. Number 9 says 2x squared plus 5x equal to negative 2. Okay, so we bring this here. It becomes 2x squared plus 5x. Taking a negative as it crosses the equal to sign becomes a positive 2, sorry, equal to 0. All right, we then multiply these two. 2 times 2 gives us what the positive 4. What are the factors of positive 4? We have 1, 2, and 4. What two numbers can we use to get a positive 5? We can use 1 and 4. And when we multiply 1 and 4, it gives us 4. So we are correct. So positive 1, positive 4 gives us positive 5. And positive 1 times positive 4 gives us what positive 4. So our two factors are correct. So we replace them in our equation quadratic equation so we have 2x squared starts with the bigger number so it's easy for you so we have plus 4x plus you know this is 1 so we make it x instead of doing 1x it's going to be confusing a bit in math so you just make it x or we can just let me just leave it so you you follow me okay all right because i have some students that when i take this one away if they are confused all right so but in math you don't put the 1, you just leave it as x. Okay, and we do plus 2 equal to 0. Now let's factor this 2. We can factor out the 2. We can factor out the x. When we divide this by 2x, we're going to be left with uh, just x. All right, so we drop x plus divide this by 2x also. You know, we factor out 2x. So 4 in 2 would be 2, and x would cancel as 1. So times uh, 2 is 2. Then our factor here will take a positive sign. And what's our factor of 1 and 2? It's a 1. Okay. And we have left here this divided by 1. All right. It's an x. Then this divided by 1 is also a 2 equal to 0. So this and this is equal. So we factor it out and we factor this to x plus 1 equal to 0. We equate this to 0, equate this guy also to 0. So this becomes x taking 2 here, it becomes x equal to negative 2. Here we have to resolve this. Remember equations, taking positive here becomes negative 1. To get x, we divide both sides by 2. So x is negative 1 over 2. So we have our two answers as x equal to negative 1 over 2 and negative 2. Okay, our final question. Oh, thank God. Okay, our final question says this. Okay. All right. So we now take, we have to arrange for it to look this way. So it means we're going to have 2x squared. Bringing negative, we have to bring this first. Okay, because, you know, it's liking like this. So bringing a negative 5x here becomes a positive 5x. And finally, bringing a negative 3 here becomes a positive 3, and we're going to be left with 0 here. So we do 2 times 3, that's 6, positive 6. What are the factors? 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, what two numbers can we add or subtract that would give us positive 5? All right, and, and when we multiply, it should give us also a positive 6. Okay, we can use a 2 and 3, that's a positive 2, positive 3 gives us a positive 5, and a positive 2 times positive 3 gives us a positive 6. So, correct. All right, we replace it so we have 2x squared plus, let's start with the bigger one, plus 3x plus 2x plus 3 equals to 0. So, let us find the common factor here. The common factor is going to be 1x. Well, we can just say x, okay? So, we bring out x. Or let me just put the 1x, all right? So, 1x. So, this will be 1 divided by x, uh, divided by 1x, all right? Here, we're going to be left with 2x. We cancel out 1x here, so that will be 2x plus uh, this x. We cancel this x. 3 divided by 1 is 3. And what's the common factor between these two? Is a positive. This positive will stay here. And is a what? 1. 
<clears throat> okay and when we divide by one we're going to get the same thing here okay so equal to zero so we group this we factor this it comes 2x plus 3 and finally we have 1 times x is still x so we just do x plus 1 equal to zero and you know it says solve so we equate 2x plus 3 equal to 0 and we equate x plus 1 equal to 0. So here this becomes 2x, uh, taking positive 3 here becomes a negative 3. To get x we divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Now taking positive 1 here becomes x equal to a negative 1. So finally x is what? A negative one and a negative three over two. Thank you. Thank you so much. Quite a very long video, but thank you for staying to the end. And I know and I believe any question you see on quadratic e equations involving solving and factoring, you will get it. I know. I'm, I'm certain. All right. And, you know, in the course, I'll be giving more work problems, worksheets for you to you know, do on your own. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Please share. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please help me grow. And, you know, check our website, dtwgdprep.com for summary notes, study guides. Everything you need is on the site. Join out the Facebook group. I'm an admin there and I can testify to the good things happening in the group. So it's going to help and motivate you. And if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can contact me for your maths, for your social studies, your sciences, your RLA. And finally, 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 please don't forget okay in this life there's another life okay after life i mean after death there's another life and to have that good life is to be in jesus christ and please christ is coming soon please do give your life to him he is the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last he's also the one who's going to give us heaven on earth here give us a peaceful joyful life all right, give us victory over every challenge, it's battles we have here. And, you know, he says, cast your burdens upon me and I will give you rest. He will give you rest. There's rest in Jesus. Okay, there's peace in him. Come on to him today and all will be well in your life. And best of all, you'll make heaven at last. All right, thank you. I wish you success in your GED exam and also in life. You are destined to win.